Today we are going to be making a vegan breakfast burrito. Super excited for this just because I love breakfast and I think that this is gonna be super delicious. So I'm gonna tell you guys the ingredients that are in this meal. We have three organic russet potatoes with our plant-based butter with salt, pepper, Old Bay, all in the potatoes. I'm a huge fan of Old Bay, it's probably the most Maryland thing about me. We're using Amy's organic refried beans. The refried beans that I have are with green chilies. You can do it without that if you don't really want um, as much heat because that makes it a little bit spicier than normal. The one that I have is we're gonna put some guacamole in there so it's gonna have avocado. Within the avocado there's gonna be lime, salt, pepper, and cilantro. We're gonna be using a gluten-free tortilla. I actually have not tried this tortilla yet so I'm super excited about this and this one looks a lot thicker than um, the ones that I'm used to using so I think that these will be really really tasty as far as like a gluten-free replacement for a tortilla. I also like the the ones that I usually use are by Siete, but these are by Maria and Ricardo. Maria and Ricardo's, and it's made with quinoa flour with avocado oil. So very, very healthy, super awesome replacement. I'm going to taste it today for the first time, but um, I can already tell by the look of the actual tortilla itself, it's going to be pretty delicious. Moving right along, we have onion. We're going to be putting onion in our burrito. And an optional um, additive is going to be a almond and coconut based sour cream alternative. This is made by Kite Hill. I'll show you. I have not tried this one myself yet, so I'm interested in seeing how actually good this is. I actually went ahead and pre-cut my vegetables last night, so my potatoes and my onions are already pre-cut. I feel as a very, very busy single mother, that is the quickest and easiest way to get this done. You know, we're exhausted all the time, so when you feel that you have a lot of energy, I think that you should go ahead and pre-cut all of your vegetables and fruits that way, you don't have to worry about it when you're actually exhausted and trying to feed your kids and you want to do something healthy and quick that's easy, but um, you know you don't really have the time to think about it or even the energy to do it. So go ahead and do it beforehand. I cut mine last night. I knew that I had somewhere to go, so I wanted to go ahead and get it finished. That way, I could just make it and be done. This is also called meal prep. So if you're going to meal prep or pre-cut, same thing. It's just like super vital. As you can see, my onions are in here. They are all sliced. Same thing with my potatoes. My potatoes are pre-cut as well. I'm going to go ahead and throw my potatoes in a pan and my onions in a pan, and that's how we're going to start. We are going to cook our onions and our potatoes in the Earth Balance, organic Earth Balance butter. This is a non-GMO and vegan butter, so I've talked about this butter a few times. This is my favorite. Super tasty, tastes just like butter. Here we go. We're gonna put our pan on medium heat and we're gonna just knife out a scoop of butter and then we're gonna slow cook our potatoes. Right now we have it on like six between medium and high just to get that butter melted and then once it's well Melted, we will throw in our potatoes and then turn it down to probably about three or four. We're going to cover our potatoes with a pan cover. Slow cook them underneath. And we're just going to add in seasoning as we go. We're going to do the same thing with the onions. We're going to throw some butter in a pan for the onions. Onions I actually like to caramelize. So in order to caramelize, you just kind of let it sit and you mix them every once in a while, but you're gonna leave it on a low heat between low and medium. You don't wanna cook them super, super high because it'll just ruin your onion. Now for one burrito, you obviously do not need as many potatoes cut up as I have here, but I just like to cut up extra because my boys like to eat potato a lot, so I'd rather have potato here for them that's already pre-cut that I can quickly make. This is just a lot healthier, better for them, so it's just a good habit for me to get into as well. We have our potatoes now cooking and I'm going to season them at the start. I'm going to season them with salt, pepper, and Old Bay. Go Maryland. Ah, 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 ah. 
I think that for your potatoes, a good time to gauge to let them cook underneath the stove top is probably about 20 minutes. So I would let them cook under there, slow cook for 20 minutes. And for the onions, it's actually the same thing. So you're gonna let your onions slow cook, not covered. So this onions are uncovered, slow cook them for 20 minutes as well. That way they will be nice and caramelized. If you wanna do it faster, you can totally do it faster. Just chop them up and fry them up really quick. Um, you can totally do that. Vegetarian Organic by Amy's. Amy's has a lot of good gluten-free, um, dairy-free, or vegan meals. Mild with green chilies. Microwave. Place beans in the microwave. No, we don't want to do that. Stove top. Heat beans in a saucepan. Of course. So we're going to pop this open, put it on the stove top, low cook, probably between low and medium heat for a few minutes until they get hot. Again, whatever you do not use, you can just save for another time. I'm really interested in seeing how the Old Bay potatoes and the uh, green chili beans are gonna mix together, refried beans, just cause the flavoring, like you would never probably put that together. I don't know. It could be good. It could definitely be good. It could definitely be good. You want to make sure to check on your onions and your potatoes every few, I don't know, like every five minutes or so. The onions are really best just left if you're going to caramelize them. Leave them, let them sit. That's the way that they caramelize is just leaving them. But you do want to mix them around every, every once in a while, but not as frequently as you would with most other things that you're cooking. Now I'm going to show you guys how I make my guacamole. How does it taste? Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm. 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 Try it with that little sour cream alternative. Little taste. It's good. This is honestly so delicious even without it because the flavors are just like out of control. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.